Hello everybody, Uniquely Lady Charlotte here, and <clears throat> I just wanted to tell you guys something about something I encountered last Friday. So, last Friday, I decided to go get some lunch. I said, alright, I'm going to go up here and get me some lunch to this barbecue place in Salisbury. Alright, I go around the drive through But as I'm coming around the drive through there's a guy standing in the kitchen, tall guy. Standing in the kitchen. They got a screen door in the back of this place. So he was standing in the screen door. I could see him. He could see me. But when I rounded that building to come around to the drive through drive through how come I see him turn up a Miller High Life can? It was a Miller can. He turned it up and straight deep throated it. And I could when he had it up so high that his eyes were behind the can. But I must have I must have slowed down by instinct. I slowed down and was looking at him like the cook. He was a cook. Deep throated a Miller High Life in the drive thru in the in the kitchen through the screen door. When he took the can down, I, it seemed like forever. I was still sitting there. I guess I was going too slow. Or maybe I took my foot off the accelerator. And I, maybe I stopped. I don't remember. I remember I seen him throw it up to his lips. I seen him swallow about four times. And he brought it down. And I was still sitting in the same place. So I probably stopped. And was unaware that I had stopped. Well, that was a barbecue restaurant in Salisbury, North Carolina. And I probably won't go back there anymore. Because I figured... If you in there cooking and you about drunk or tipsy, feeling good, haphazard, you might drop my, my, my food on the ground or, and, and then just knock off the dust. Just knock it off or pluck it off and throw it back in the box. I don't know. Because you're not thinking healthy consciousness. You're not thinking safety. You might drop it and, and a few hers get on it. I don't, I don't want no hers on it. Let me tell you something about this her and why I'm saying it like that. In my family, if you say hair, that's hair on your on your head. Anything else, I call hers. <laughs> so if it didn't come off your head, it's not a hair; it's an her. <laughs> oh boy, my family is funny. So now let's talk about the restaurant business. I know from what I've been told that the restaurant business is one of those businesses where they don't drug test people, they don't do random alcohol tests, they, none of that, because it's hard to keep people in the restaurant industry, and because the turnover is so high. But I wonder if you pay more, you know, if you paid more for the work or more per hour, if you could, would they behave differently? Okay, she's going to make me late for this dang on me, and i got to be there at 3 o'clock, it's all better. She want to drive the speed limit. Speed limit is good, lady. I'm not fussing about that, but and I left on time. Oh, I just gotta drive a little more creatively. That's all. I'm not gonna speed. I'm gonna drive creatively, more passive aggressive. But anyway, so I think if they maybe if they paid the employees a little more money, maybe you get a better quality employee, or maybe the owner lets them drink. I don't know. I talked to um, a few friends of mine, and they said they had bosses that were like that. They let them have, you know, on Fridays, they let them have a taste. You know, they have a meeting, everybody get a taste. I talked to somebody who said that their old boss at a moving company used to let them fill the um, the soda dispenser, the can, with the cans, let them fill the sleeve with beer. He had bought a, a, bought a um, dispenser for cans, but it wasn't like one by Pepsi-Cola or Coca-Cola, nothing like that. It was his own, and he had it just for the employees to where if they got their work done, they could drink beer as long as they got their work done. But what about the workers' comp liability? You're not worried about that? Ain't worried about that? You just, I know you have fun Fridays, but drunk fun Friday? And then I'm telling you this, and then when I went around to the drive through window, I guess after I finally got moving again, the lady in the window says, whoo, I feel good. She was all red in the face. And I'm just looking at her, I'm like, the whole restaurant probably drunk, the whole restaurant probably drunk, but not everybody in there probably drinks. Maybe she was just feeling good. I don't know. She looked like she was feeling good. She looked hot and sweaty and red in the face. I don't know. 
but they were sure having a good time. The two people I saw, I only saw two people. But again, I don't think I want you fiddling around my food. I don't think I want you fiddling around my food if you've been drinking at a restaurant. Now, on the other hand, well, I ain't giving my food to nobody but Scotty. When I have tipsy cooking, I'm just feeding Scotty. I'm still careful. Yeah. Some people do their best cooking when they've been drinking, I guess. And some people, you get so far in the drinking, you forget what you were cooking and you get lost in it. I have done that myself. Again, why I will not be going back to this restaurant. I don't know how many beers they drinking. If they're drinking a case of beer before they go home or if the cook drinking a case of beer. I can't say the lady was drinking because I don't know. I didn't see her. I just saw that she was red in the face and she was sweaty looking and she was just kind of moving around like a party girl. I feel good. Have I seen what I saw in that kitchen screen door? I bet you do. But she, again, I can't say she was drinking. I, I know that cook was drinking. I know that. Cause I've seen him take it up to the head and, and take it down. I'm talking, I think with like four swallows, three swallows, it was gone. And I was sitting there long enough to see it happen. I'm sitting there long enough to see it happen. You better be careful what you're doing out there because people watching. They're taking pictures and they're watching. Taking pictures and they watching. Oh, well, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm a, I'm a fan of, you know, boosting employee morale but that's a little far fetched that's a little too much that's a little too much it's too much okay well I'm gonna get ready to get on this road cause I'm getting ready to drive creatively keep up with the flow of traffic we got 30 minutes to get there so I will talk to you guys later and um I did have another story to tell y'all another two stories but I can't tell them stories because other people involved and it's funny as hell to me, but I can't share them stories with y'all because that might get me in trouble. All right, I'm going to go. Oh, I got a bus story to tell y'all um, from when I worked with another company. I'll tell y'all all about that. It's not funny, but whew, I just thought about it the other day. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. <laughs>